Welcome to this video review of my Gashi Brera automatic bean to cup coffee machine. I've had this machine for just over two years now and I must say I've been very pleased with it. Making between four and six cappuccinos per day on average, it continues to deliver consistent results time after time, equaling that of many of the high street coffee chains and making a damn sight better cup than some I could mention. So what influenced my choice when purchasing this machine? Well, having owned two Gashia manual machines over the past 25 years, I knew they were well-made, reliable machines. But there were two main reasons for choosing the Brera. Firstly, having just moved into a new house with a smaller kitchen, I was looking for a machine that didn't take up too much space on the worktop. The Brera is one of the smallest automatic machines on the market. Secondly, I was hoping that having a machine that was so simple to operate would relieve me of some of my barista duties. And that one day, a perfect cappuccino would be delivered to me whilst I'm relaxing in an armchair. Sadly, this one hasn't materialised. However, I live in hope. So to the machine itself. On the top is the bean hopper. Under the cover, the grinder control is found. There are five markings on the control knob, showing course to fine. I set this machine at fine when I first got it, and that's where it stays, because that gives me the strength of coffee that I like. Even with a cabinet above, the hopper can be topped up without moving the machine. Also, on the top, under this little cover, is where ground coffee can be added. Ideal for those who like decaf. I must say, getting a measure of ground coffee into this little hole without it going everywhere is almost impossible. Hence the reason I have a brush handy. What I do like about this machine is that everything is accessed from the front. The grounds drawer, the water tank and all the controls. There's just one thing at the rear and that's the electricity on off switch. So I leave it in the on position and use the switch at the plug. So with the power on, the machine is in the standby mode with the standby button flashing red. Press it and the machine starts to warm up and rinse. With the LED display showing all of these icons, the machine is ready to brew. There are two brewing buttons, one for a short espresso and one for a long shot. Both are programmable to deliver the amount of coffee you require. Underneath the standby button is the aroma and pre-ground coffee selector. The spoon icon indicates the machine will brew from pre-ground coffee. Cycle through each function by pressing once. One, two and three beans will appear on the display. The machine grinds three different quantities of coffee, offering three different strengths of brew. I like it strong, so for me it's three beans every time. Before using the machine, it's a good idea to check that the drip tray is empty and the water tank is full. This being a compact machine, the water tank is a bit on the small size and requires refilling frequently. I get about four regular cups from one tank of water. So now let's pull a shot of espresso.
Position the nozzle down to minimise splashing. My short pull leaves enough room in an espresso cup for the coffee to be stained with milk or cream to make what I think is called a macchiato. A long pull fills the cup to make an espresso. That's good. Now my drink of choice is a cappuccino. And this size of cup is my regular. However, the cup that I prefer to use is this one. It takes two shots of espresso and I call it the grande. So with the cup in position, press the long pull button twice the machine now will deliver two shots of coffee. Now when it comes to milk, for me it has to be Jersey whole milk. Not only for the flavour, but also for its ability to steam to a beautiful creamy texture. The perfect topping for a cappuccino. Place an empty jug under the steam wand and turn the control knob to the left. At first water will be purged from the system. At this stage the steam icon in the display will be flashing. When it stops flashing and is on constantly you will hear the pump working. Turn the control knob back to the centre position. Insert the steam wand into the milk and turn the knob back to the left. Whilst steaming lower the jug until the tip of the nozzle is just under the milk. This is what's known as stretching the milk. When the desired volume is reached, raise the jug to cover the whole of the nozzle. The steam will continue to heat the milk whilst the volume will remain the same. Cease steaming when the desired temperature is reached. Swirl the milk to get rid of any air bubbles and pour to make a perfect cappuccino. Finally, sprinkle with chocolate. Cheers! So there you have it, the Gazia Brera, a compact bean to cup machine which at the push of a button delivers a fine espresso the very foundation of all of the coffee-based drinks.